All right, it's Friday Eve. Good Thursday. It's November 4th. I'm Ashton Altieri. So uh, after the gloomy start to the week, we started warming temperatures up yesterday, and that warm up will continue for today. Storms will stay far away from Colorado uh, through the weekend and into early next week. You can see that one storm moving from the Pacific Northwest goes straight over to the Great Lakes, pretty much misses the entire Rocky Mountain region. The next system is going to stay north of us as well. The storm track just too far north for us to have any active weather here in Colorado. So high pressure is just going to dominate our weather through the weekend. But with that high being a little south of Colorado, it is going to mean a pretty strong westerly flow. That's what's going to allow us to warm up so much here along the front range with the downslope. That also means windy conditions for the Colorado high country. We could see wind gusts up to maybe 30 miles per hour today for mountain towns and 60 mile per hour wind atop the uh, higher peaks and passes. And that's going to be the same for tomorrow and Saturday as well. Again, the downsloping flow is going to help to warm us up quite a bit. Mid to upper 60s in Denver for today, we could hit 70 in the metro area tomorrow. We'll go with 71 for Fort Collins and Greeley. And then Saturday, look at this, 73 degrees in Denver. We'll come close to 80 in southeast Colorado on Saturday. And well, I don't think 80 is in our future in Denver. Uh, we could be closer to 80 than 70 coming up on Sunday. The record is 78 from 1999. That record's probably safe, but we should be within five degrees of the record. It does turn somewhat cooler on Monday, but still way above normal, 68 degrees. Tuesday down to 59. We'll be right around there on Wednesday. That's our only hope for any moisture uh, into next week is on Wednesday in Denver. And right now it's just a 10% chance for sprinkles. So let's hope that turns into something more perhaps. Veterans Day next Thursday, more clouds than sun and a little closer to normal with a high of 57 degrees. With the time change this upcoming weekend, don't forget to take the opportunity to check your smoke alarm, CO detectors, and make sure everything's in good working order. And remember, this is the good time change. This is the good one. This is the one where we get that extra hour of sleep, but it also means the sun setting before 5 p.m. next week. And that's always an adjustment, 4.51 for our sunset on Sunday. Hey, have a great day.